Hello everyone and welcome to another update on the Daksh V2 tool changer. As some of you might be aware, this is a fully mechanical tool changing mechanism that is uh, based on the Prusa Excel um, system and does not use a servo unlike the V1 of the Daksh tool changer. The tool changing mechanism is very reliable uh, on the V2 alongside also being very very fast. So it's a 2.5 seconds tool chain cycle from um, the moment it starts moving from this position, goes to park the tool, comes back a bit, load the tool again and comes back to this position. That in all takes 2.5 seconds. I can go even lower um, with acceleration and speeds, but um, that is what it is right now. And um, Alongside demonstrating the tool locking and the tool changing mechanism, I also want to demonstrate the nozzle accuracy uh, between tool changes. So the way we actually will be uh, looking at that is using this camera here. It's called the CXC camera by Ember Prototypes and it has been sent to me for evaluation. The camera attaches to the build plate using magnets on the back and um, then you can zoom in to the nozzle of the 3D printer tool head. Uh, it connects to your computer and shows you an image of the 3D printer nozzle. So if you can see here, I can actually um, show you the orifice of the nozzle that is um, visible in there with a cross here. So to evaluate how accurate the nozzle positioning is between tool changes, we will be keeping an eye on this orifice and the cross here and see how much variation do we see in um, the nozzle and the cross here between tool changes. So uh, let's, let's get started. I have the tool change um, 3D printer uh, homed and it is ready to start doing tool change mechanisms. Um, so I will use the other computer to fire off a macro that will um, start the uh, loading and uh, uh, parking sequence. So let's get started here. So, so that is the loading and uh, uh, parking mechanism. And if you look here, you will see the image of the nozzle orifice between tool changes. So as you can see, it's extremely, extremely accurate. So we can zoom into the nozzle orifice. We'll zoom in and see what we see. So that is what we see before the tool change. And after the tool change, virtually no difference. So the orifice lands right where it was um, after a tool change. So it actually seems to be that the Maxwell coupling on this tool uh, changing mechanism is extremely accurate. It has some constrained uh, movement mechanism that I will be going in uh, detail in a future video. But if you look at the tool changing mechanism or the tool changing sequence, it's 2.5 seconds to do a tool change, which is extremely, extremely fast. And remember on a tool changing 3D printer, the tool change time is what swells up the print time. Any second that you can cut out on a tool change is going to exponentially impact the total print time on a large print and with multiple tool changes or multiple colors. So um, that has been the focus with the Dutch V2 tool changing mechanism or the tool changing printer that the tool changes have to be extremely, extremely fast. So I anticipate with the uh, priming and all of that stuff to be under three seconds in um, a tool change uh, sequence. So uh, again, if you look at the images of how the um, tool change mechanism is working accurately, you will be able to see that there is virtually no variation in the uh, position of the orifice after a tool change. 
So we've done about 20 tool changes up till now and there has been no movement uh, or variation in the uh, nozzle position. So it, it seems to be working, working, working really, really accurately. And thanks to uh, this camera, I, I highly recommend this uh, camera. Um, you can go to um, the website called Ember Prototypes. Just search on Google for Ember Prototypes. Um, and it's a company based out of Canada. Amazing tool for um, IDEX or tool changing 3D printers and allows you to do nozzle calibration on X and Y very, very um, easily with uh, um, almost zero effort. And you don't have to print out any of those um, pesky uh, calibration prints to, uh, to figure out uh, what the offsets are. So um, that's, that's the update on my end here. Um, I am looking forward to start uh, uh, printing on this um, machine very, very soon. Um, just an update on the tool head as well. The tool head itself is a self-contained integrated unit. It has the hot end fan, the parts fan, uh, the extruder, and uh, uh, also the nozzle um, is serving as a Z probe. So it has um, a system built into the tool head itself that allows you to use the nozzle as Z probe. Um, I will be demonstrating that and going into more detail about that uh, in uh, in a future video. But um, that is where uh, we stand right now in terms of the development. Uh, I hope to wrap up this project very, very soon. And just a final look on the accuracy of the tool changing mechanism. Um, the house, the, I don't see any uh, major variation in X and Y between the tool changes. So uh, that's it. Uh, just hit me up on comments if you have any questions or um, want to see us any specific areas that I should be focusing on in the next videos. Uh, until then, please take care and uh, happy 3D printing.